Hello, this is Hojun Cheng. Okay, topic for today is yeah, it just says uh, it says why do we have a volume on amplifier? Now uh, we all know the uh, most of amp has the uh, volume knob, right? Or some some call the uh, attenuator, and the other call like a volume or gain. Okay, so uh, let's try to understand why do we have that thing on the uh, amplifier. Well, some people says um, um it is it is for the uh, best efficiency. We have to pull all the way up, or you know, a little bit like seventy percent. So we have some yeah um, optimized power. But um, um most of you uh, as a professional, they already know that it is not right. And I'm gonna just uh, explain like I'm um, really plain English. So it's this is for the, like a newbie. So if you are like a really pro and you you know pretty much about what the gain structure, or you know, you, you learned all the things, then I'm um, you, you need to just skip it. Yeah, just the same same thing. Okay. So I'm not talking about the all the formulas or some mathematic things or physics. So it'll be your headache and my headache too. So I'm gonna. Uh, Introduce you for the uh, some app called uh, PA Calculator. So this is the PA Calculate app from uh, your iOS App Store, Apple App, app Store. Okay, I'm not sure about the uh, Android version, but uh, uh, this is on the uh, Apple side, iOS, and it is made by uh, RCF. So free. So download it, and I have a, a Big Sur the uh, Mac OS running, so I can open up the uh, app here in the uh, Mac Mini. Okay, this is uh, sponsored by RCF. Oh, sponsored by RCF. So they are not really makeup, but um, yeah, RCF is a really good company for the older parts, like driver or yeah, sort of things. Okay, and we go to the uh, calculator here. So uh, it says acoustics and SPF. So the purpose of this app, no, this calculator is to get the uh, um, the amount, the sound pressure level for a certain amp and certain speaker. So how many? So so we can calculate like how far and how loud it can go. Okay. So just as you see this, so it says a uh, 99 dB SPR. So speaker sensitivity. So output of speaker will be if uh, it is 99 dB SPR and you use the 450 watt amp which is like 26.5 dB boost so uh, amplifier will do the uh, the power boost right power yeah boost of 450 watt that's on the uh, dB side that's 26.5 dB yeah that's the decibel right so we are dealing with the db side not the watt side okay so watt side we have to think about the how how many uh, watts that a speaker can handle okay so those things uh, relate to the uh, that watt side so output of the amp and input of the uh, speaker yeah it should be matched well some says a uh, normal way is double the power that um, we need so if the speaker can handle 400 watts then we go with the 800 watts amp to get the uh, some headroom there about 3 dB so double the power 3 dB up okay that's the thing and it says um, here number of speakers 8 so if we have uh, 8 speakers of 99 dB SPR and if we are away from that speaker 24 meter then we can get 107 dB SPR so this is the main purpose of the whole calculator and I'm gonna put the uh, the other way to let you understand why we have a volume on amplifier okay um, the most common studio monitor was uh, NS10M by Yamaha it is discontinued but um, okay let's say um, uh, it has a uh, 90 dB SPR on sensitivity that's a spec okay so I'm gonna put 90 dB and first I'm gonna put here one so I use just one speaker 
and it will be one meter away from the NS10M. So basically, if we put the uh, 450 watt amp on it, we will get the 116.5 dB. That's a peak. Okay, well, we use this sensitivity for a peak. So we can we use the uh, well, manufacturer used to um, the get the spec of a one kilohertz sine wave, one watt to the uh, speaker, and then uh, one meter away the 90 dB SPL will be come out. So that's the whole sensitivity means. Okay. So how about if I put the uh, 30 watts amp there? Okay. If I put the 30 watts amp, that's a plus 14.8 dB boost by the amp amplifier. So amp is just a power booster, right? Okay. Speaker is just one and uh, random phase or in phase, it doesn't matter here. And just one meter away. So we can get the uh, SPL of 104.8 dB SPL, which means kind of uh, uh, the perfect peak that we can have because uh, industry standard is 85 dB SPL for reference level. And there's a 20 dB for the headroom and peak will be 105 dB. 105 minus 20 is 85, right? So it's like we can have those things here. So if you put the uh, 30 amp, 30 watt amp, it's just perfect fit for this environment. So we don't need an amp. Well, if we have an amp on 30 watt amp, it can be max. Okay, don't go with the uh, the, the mixer size. We have to have the uh, minus 18 dB FS on the digital mix output. That's the reference level we need to get. That's on the gain staging side, right? As you might already know. So in that way, it's like minus 18 dBFS output from the digital mixer can go into the amp and just without any attenuation or boost, it just go through the, yeah, boost it to the 14 plus 8 dB and put it onto the 90 dB speaker and one meter away, we will get the 104.8 dB on peak. So the, the RMS, so the 18 minus 18 dBFS will be the minus 18 dB from that point, 1.5 dB, 1.4.8 dB, 104.8 dB minus 18 dB will be your reference level there. So the, the, the output and output of the mixer and your listening level will be just, yeah, make the yeah, same level. That's the whole optimization. So if you are in the like whole theater or yeah bar or house of worship or some places to have, have the uh, longer distance, you use this kind of way to calculate the how much power or how much the the sensitivity that we need for the speaker to get the right amount of the the sound pressure level in the audience side. So that's how it goes. Okay, so if the uh, thirty dB. Or let's say like double the power, so 60 dB. So that means it was 14 plus 14.8, but now 17.8. So double the power, 3 dB up. So it's like 107.8 dB here. So we have to think about the headroom, 3 dB headroom more there. And so, so besides the peak level that we can have is like 105 and 3 more dB for the uh, just in case the whole the peak cannot be distorted in the amp side. That's kind of a difficult thing to understand, but okay. So that means like we have to reduce at least 3 dB to get 104.8 dB, right? How about putting the, uh, normally, yeah, people use like the 400 watt amp there for the uh, NS10 amp. Back in old days, people used the amp crown or crown amp like class A or class AP, like big transformer there. They use that amp for the 90 dB SPL sensitivity, the uh, NS10M. So it's like the blow up the Twitter day. all the time. They use the fuse to, to uh, avoid that. Anyway, so in this case, the peak will be 116 dB SPL. Okay, 116 dB SPL is way 
too much. Just think about the 105 dBs pair for the peak. So we have 11 more decibels that we have already. But the thing is that we cannot, uh, if you put the 400 watt amp there, like on 8 ohm, that's the fixed amount, you, you cannot change the 400 watt to the uh, certain level on the amp side. It's just variable for the uh, load. So if the load goes to the 4 ohm or 16 ohm, the uh, whole watt will be changed. That's the only way can this amplifier, the decibel or wattage could be changed. So we use the imp side. So that's why we do have a volume on the amplifier to control the imp level. So we can attenuate 11 dB there to get the right amount, 105 dB peak and 85 dB SPL for the uh, reference level. That's why we have an uh, amp, the volume is there. Okay, so if you visit some other site or some other amp room and found it out, uh, the volume is like way off or yeah, or 70% off, and you will hear the hiss noise there because um, uh, the itself, where we already increased the the white noise from the amp or mixer or the signal in between okay hope you clearly understand why do we have a volume and the uh, purpose of the volume and how can we use that volume to get the right amount of sound that you need okay subscribe and share and write a comment so we can communicate and i i love to learn more so challenge me Thank you. Bye. This is Ozin Cheng.